Okay, so that's it for the rear. So now I'd like to talk about the front suspension. I have, like I said, I have OM EMU springs, heavy duty. I have OM EMU shocks, because that's what I put in. And it was great for the longest time. And then over the years, I sagged a little bit in the front there. So I was able to go and uh, add a little more lift to it. I, uh, I waited until it sagged because I was afraid of, uh, if you're too far, I was, I was told, uh, 22 and a half is what I read there is a safe, you know, center hub to fender distance. Beyond that there, you're putting too much strain there on your front end and it's not good. So that's why I waited. And then I added quarter inch Rocky Road Outfitter sprint, uh, spacers. Let me go show you. Okay. Here we go, here's the front end, there's the front suspension. There is my JBA upper control arms. I got those, uh, well I got them about the same time I did the uh, Rocky Road Outfitter Spacer because while well, I was cheap, those things were expensive. And I never did nothing too extreme back then. So, it worked. But uh, I was afraid, because if that snaps, you're in big trouble with that ball joint. So, I went with JBA upper control arms. I still have the Rocky Road Outfitters, well I still got the Rocky Road Outfitter spacer at the very top. You can see it, it is a uh, quarter inch spacer, it's black, let me try to shine this with the light right up in there, right up in there is that spacer. So let me go move this. So you got options now. Uh, Rocky Road Outfitter only sells quarter inch spacers, which give you roughly just under half an inch of lift. But CB Engineering, if you, I've never bought from them. Well, I got one of the parts, but I never bought from them. I bought from somebody else. Uh, with CB Engineering, you can get quarter inch spacers, which give you just under half inch. You can get three eight spacers, or you can get half, yeah, or you can get half inch spacers, which give you almost an inch lift. 3-8 spacers is what I would probably go with if I was to do this again because those are the biggest you can go and still have threads to get your nuts on the top there. With uh, the uh, half inch spacers, you're out of threads. So what you got to do is take out the bolts there from the top of the strut. Well, they're not bolts, they're uh, pressed in there. So you got to take those out and replace them with longer bolts. So to make it easy, I'd go with 3-8 spacers. And, uh, yeah, that's what I do. Make it it'd be the easiest and get the most lift without going to larger, longer bolts. So your final option here for your front suspension that uh, a lot of people are doing is instead of running OME struts, they are running Bilsteins. With Bilsteins, they had two... Uh, they got spot, different, different spots you can mount them. So you can get extra, I think it's like 0.75 inches or an inch and a half of lift on it, but just by adjusting different spots. I've never, I've never actually driven a vehicle with them, so I couldn't tell you about the ride quality. The reason I went stuck with the uh, Oman E and used the spacer is because I was told there is that the uh, Oman, Old Man Emu is a larger diameter, uh, uh, strut so that's the reason I stuck with it there and I already went with it so it's cheaper this way so I would I'm going to stick with this if they ever go but I've had these things for oh man like eight years and they're still rocking they're still rocking good so to me the quality is there so I'll, if I was to do it again I'd stick with OME so that's what I'm going to be using for my uh, mod super lift there is OME uh, I'm going to keep the same uh struts so anyways that's the end of my video i hope you enjoy please uh subscribe and uh like the video i uh i'm really hoping to make lots of videos and have this as a little career so i can actually buy more parts so yeah please enjoy thank you very much